Good morning. It is Thursday already. This week is going fast. It's time for another high five. And I want to read to you from Ezekiel uh, chapter 3 verse 18. And I'm reading from the NIV. When I say to a wicked person, you will surely die. And you do not warn them or speak out to persuade them from their evil ways in order to save their life. The wicked person will die for their sin, and I will hold you responsible. Wow. You know, God's told me a couple times I'm going to hold you responsible for something. And uh, he reminded me about this last night in the middle of the night. You know, uh, several weeks ago, I was driving to the studio like I'm going to be doing today, going to record. And the Lord said, I want you to teach on hell. And I've really never taught on hell. I did in Bible college when I was teaching Bible college. And I was teaching about, you know, the Bible, about heaven and hell. And, and so I, I briefly went over it, but I've never really gone into it in the extent that I'm going to be going through. I'll be doing three shows today on hell. So please pray for me, especially with driving in, in Houston, if, if it starts raining. And um, so I'll be doing three shows today and then in, our, in my Bible study uh, next month, uh, July 21st, I'll be doing, um, you know, one of our, our last speakers said that our, my Bible study is postgraduate level. And so we're going to do postgraduate level on, on hell. You know, if we don't warn people, you know, if a hurricane is coming, I would like a warning. If a tornado is, is coming to touchdown, I would like a warning. If there's a fire in the building, I would like a warning. But you know what happens is the the churches, the pastors are not, the, the people are not comfortable with hell anymore. They, they just want to erase it. They just want to ignore it. But you know, Jesus was the greatest theologian on hell. He taught 46 things about hell. And so if you say there is no hell like the um, the Vatican uh, post is saying that, that the Pope said that there is no hell. So he's telling all of the Catholics around the world that there is no hell. And so uh, he, he's not warning them. He's going to be held responsible. See, pastors are going to be, be held responsible for not warning the people. I would like a warning. You know, that's why you go to doctors. If there's something wrong in your, if you feel like there's something wrong in your body, you go to the doctor because you want him to give you a warning so you can change your eating or change your ways or add something to it. That They give you a warning and then you heed to that warning and you live. And, you know, we get to choose life or death, blessings or cursings. And the choice is ours. But one thing is, these pastors that are not teaching health, at least teach them once a, once a year. Say, okay, we're going to do this again. This is my one time a year that I'm going to preach on hell. And, um, you know, your people will thank you for it. Your people will thank you for it. You know, even intercessors, they're not fasting and praying for the salvation of their families like they used to. They're, they're letting their children rule the house. They're, they're, letting, they're letting evil rule. You know, I'm, I'm watching the lawlessness right now. I'm not watching it on the news because um, it, it, it just stirs up stuff in this house. I, I don't want to watch the news. But, um, but, you know, things that come over Facebook or social media or something, they're brief and, and I can turn them on and off really quick. Uh, but there's so much lawlessness and there's no consequences for the lawlessness. And so if you allow the lawlessness to continue without consequences, you are going to have hell on earth. And you're gonna start understanding a little bit of what, what hell is. And so today I'm gonna to describe the compartments. There's five different compartments in the underworld. And uh, I'm gonna give you all Bible proof for it. And, and if you don't believe, you know, the, the thing is not believing in hell is really coming against God. You're saying, God, I, I don't believe that of you. I'm, I'm just refused to believe that. But, you know, Jesus, at, at the time that Jesus was teaching, there was a Jewish understanding of hell. He never challenged the Pharisees about that. 
He never challenged their thinking about hell. He challenged them about the Sabbath, about giving, about taking care of your parents. He challenged them on a lot of things, but he never challenged them on hell because Jesus was the main theologian on hell. So uh, just pray about it. Warn someone uh, that you love. God bless. Bye-bye.